Father, you are there. That you are also the judge. In the final day of judgment, Lord, you're so good that you have given us a chance to know you personally through your son, Jesus, who died on the cross and was buried and rose again the third day. That's, that is your goodness and your grace to us, Lord. And as you have promised that your mercies are being renewed every morning and your faithfulness is great. And that's why we're here, Lord, celebrating and worshiping you, and giving you thanks. And at the same time, I also would like to bring our burdens before you because you have promised that you will carry them for us. We're not supposed to be carrying our burdens by ourselves because you have promised to help us and deliver us from all our problems and troubles. And so today, Lord God, as we focus our minds and our hearts in worship and in listening to you, may we continue to learn May we continue to accept your teachings to us today. And may, keep, may we keep your word in our hearts so that wherever we go, we have that defense against Satan and his attacks in our minds and in our hearts, in our lives, our families, and even here as a church family. <coughs> so Lord, once again, we thank you for your presence in our midst today. We pray all these things with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you.